What's going on guys? In this video, I wanna talk about Webull options trading and I'm gonna be showing you guys some examples. I'm also gonna be talking about GameStop stock and I'm gonna be giving you guys some insights into the Webull platform because if you're using Robinhood, well, hey, you know, Robinhood's customer service is just as good as. Why does somebody not know how to flush a toilet after they've had a sh well, it was fucking one of yes. Disgusting! All right, so yeah, obviously the Robinhood user face is easy to use, but there's so much stuff going on with Robinhood that, uh, hey, you know what? I think it's Webull time. So, you know, without further ado, by the way, get, get some free stocks if you want in the description. Webull is a platform that is similar to Robinhood. It's an app, but they also have a desktop application, which is what I'm gonna be using right now. So, so you guys can see my screen right now. Um, if you click trade, you have a very beautiful look here. And essentially what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna look into uh, GameStop. So I'm gonna type in GameStop here and GameStop is really pulling back today. This is a stock that I said is just absolutely crazy. Everyone's talking about it. So I'm gonna click GameStop right here and you can really look at the chart. So I'm looking at the four hour chart right here. And uh, it's really cool because Webull's platform allows you to look at candlesticks. I mean, most places do. Even Robinhood allows you to do that. But what I really like about Webull is uh, the white background is just really beautiful. So here we've seen that uh, GameStop has touched over $480 per share, which is the mother of all short squeezes. I mean, guys, this is a stock that a lot of people made money on, but recently people have been losing money on because essentially this is not an investment. This is not really considered um, long-term investing like, you know, like an Apple or a Tesla. This is really short-term gambling because of, well, Wall Street bets is kind of, kind of hyping this stock up and they're squeezing all the hedge funds, which by the way, I don't blame them. The hedge funds have been making enough money for enough time you know, shorting these stocks out there. And it's time that the investors out here, like me, you, and everyone else, we started making some money because the money should go around for everyone and not just for the super high net worth individuals who run the whole world essentially. But, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of happy. It's kind of cool. It's exciting what's going on with this short squeeze. However, if you're trying to make some money, this is really volatile and I wouldn't put your actual capital in here. I was watching me, Kevin, and he has $20 million in his portfolio and he put $15,000 on GameStop. And uh, I forget what the exact percentage was. He was saying that it was like, one seventh of one percent so uh, a rich man like him who is obviously smart knows what he's doing with stock investing and you know maybe even a little bit of options i'm not sure if he plays around with options or not in fact i don't think he does but either way this man has a large portfolio and he's not putting a lot of money into GameStop. So this should tell you something that it's not just him, but it's all other investors as well. We're not really the smart people. They're not putting their entire net worth into GameStop. You don't see, um, I know Elon Musk has mentioned GameStop, but you don't see Elon Musk going like, hey, I'm gonna put every single dollar that I have into GameStop because this stock is just something that is gonna be parabolic, up and down, up and down. So right now it's $108. And what I wanna show you guys is Webull's platform. So essentially, Webull has a little area right here where you can look at news or the financials. So for GameStop, the financials are pretty whack, if you ask me. I mean, the EPS has been negative, but you know, it actually has pulled up a little bit, so it's not as whack as I completely thought. Um, if you look at analysis, you can see a whole bunch of stuff, but what I'm really looking for, and the reason why I'm really making this video is because I trade options and I've been doing it for eight years now. Um, I have a course on it. That's what I'm pretty much specialized in for the longest time. So and I've been using this platform for a little bit now, but it's still something to get used to because it's very different from what I'm used to with Robinhood. This interface is a little bit more complex. So with Webull, you do want to spend more time learning how the platform actually works. And I'll give you guys a little bit of a tutorial here, a very simple one. So there are strikes here. And if you put 10 strike, which is just going to show you five um, options that are out of the money and five options that are in the money over here, essentially. As you can tell, GameStop is about $108 as I'm making this video. So it's gonna show you five options that are going down. So 110, 115, 120, 125, and 130. And then options that are below the 108 mark. So 105, 100, 95, 90, 85. So essentially what you wanna do here is, let's say you are positive on GameStop. Let's say you're bullish on this and you're thinking that the short squeeze is not over yet, which you know we've seen a double peak, but I'm not gonna speak about what's gonna happen with GameStop itself. I'm just gonna say, Let's pretend like you are bullish on GameStop and you actually wanna go ahead and buy some call options, but you wanna buy some really out of the money call options. What that means is you wanna go out 
really far from GameStop's current price because you want to bet on a whole lot of action happening. And of course, you get rewarded more when you do buy a call option that's way out of the money because, well, the farther out of the money it is, the lower the premium because the less likelihood that that option will be in the money. So therefore, you're going to want to go for an option that's very out of the money if you believe GameStop is going to short squeeze even more and potentially go back up to 200 or even $300 per share. So rather than having this strike say 10, you're gonna wanna click all and all is gonna open up a whole bunch of strikes for you. Now, obviously just too many strikes here because now it's like, <laughs> like a hundreds and hundreds of options. But um, so going back to what we're gonna be doing here, if you wanna go out, let's say, you know, let's go out a little bit farther than a week. You think this short squeeze is gonna be a little bit of a longer play. So I'm gonna click February 19th here. By the way, you can, you can choose all the dates right here on this little panel here. So we're gonna do February 19th. And if we scroll down, you know, we're gonna say that GameStop is gonna be above $200 per share. Here it is right here, about $200. And you can see that Webull is actually showing you the volume here. So there's actually some volume, which is insane and makes sense. Um, there's 1,600 contracts that were traded just today for the 200 strike for the call option on GameStop. And that is about a couple weeks from now. So there's a whole bunch of people looking at this. And if you were to say, hey, I want some action. I want a little bit of piece of this uh, pie. I wanna be betting here that GameStop's gonna go up past $200. Well, the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna look at the bid and the ask. So ask is if you're gonna be buying, people are asking this price from you to purchase it. And of course, if you wanna do something like covered calls, I have a video you can check out right here. But if you wanna do something like covered calls where you buy shares of the stock and sell covered calls to generate income, then you would be looking at the bid. But essentially for my example right now, you're looking at the ask. So you're gonna be buying this call option at 26. What that means guys is that the strike price is already 200, but the ask is 26. So your break even is going to be 200 plus 26, so your break even is $226. So if the stock goes above $226, you start profiting. If it doesn't, well, you're not gonna be profiting. And if it's below 200, you've completely lost your entire investment. If it does not cross the strike price of 200, you're out of luck, you're not making any money. You're just completely out of all the premium that you paid. And if it's between 200 and 226, well, you're making some money. However, you've paid a total of 26. So your break even is really $226 per share again. So I'm gonna click this. And once you click this, okay. All right, so I just clicked the ask and this little screen pops out over here, which is really nice. So it gives you all the information about the option that I'm about to be trading or the hypothetical option that I'm gonna be trading. So here it pops out with the GameStop 200 call. And again, here you're gonna wanna click buy. So that's the buy. You can also set a limit order. A limit order means this option will not execute unless you get the exact price that you want. So let's say that your price is exactly $25. If you put 25 and the option is you know costing 26 it will not execute until it gets to your price of 25. another thing you can do is you can just put a market order and you will get filled right away at whatever the market is trading at now for something like gamestop because it has such a wide bid ask spread you're going to want to actually set a limit order so for example i'm going to put limit here and then i see over here that the ask is 25.75 but the bid is 24.6 so i'm going to try to put something for example like 25 0.5. So instead of paying the full price of 25.75, I'm gonna go somewhere in between the bid and the ask price. So I'm just gonna put it down a little bit. And here, the nice part is that Webull actually shows you what's going to happen and the break even price. So as I said, if you're gonna pay $26, which I said originally, your break even would be 226 and your upside would be unlimited because as the stock rises, you know, your call option can make as much money as you like. So it has an unlimited upside potential. However, your max loss is exactly what you pay for with the option. So you're paying $2,600. And if the stock crashes to like 10 bucks, well, you don't really lose much more or anything at all aside from the premium that you paid, which is a $2,600, which is actually why call options are attractive for a lot of folks and a lot of investors, because whatever you put in, that is your max loss. However, it is risky, like you can lose the entire premium that you paid, but you can't lose more than what you paid for your premium. So for example, a GameStop investor who would buy 100 shares of GameStop, they can lose $10,400 theoretically because, well, GameStop is about $104. So 
you know, each option is 100 shares, therefore they can lose $10,400. However, with a call option, they can't lose $10,400 because they can only lose $2,600, which is the amount of premium that they paid for that option. So that's pretty much it. I mean, the Webull platform is very versatile. There is a lot to learn. I'm still learning it myself. I'm an expert on Robinhood. I use TD Ameritrade and Webull is something that I really like because they actually have some customer service on like Robinhood. And I know a lot of people are furious with Robinhood. Elon Musk just took a jab at Robinhood. So I am kind of worried that Robinhood may go bankrupt. I mean, they were supposed to go IPO um, this year in 2021, but we'll see what happens. I think it's good to diversify your money and have it in different brokerage accounts, especially with um, a brokerage account that has a lot of issues. So I just wanted to show you guys this tutorial on Webull. There's a whole lot of other stuff that Webull has. And if you want to free stocks or for free stocks, whatever their promotion is currently, they do offer free stocks when you do sign up. So make sure you check out the link in the description. If you need more help with options trading, which I am an expert on, not an expert on each platform, but the knowledge of options and how to actually make income consistently by selling options properly, all the different strategies that you use, such as selling puts, covered calls, you can either watch you know, my playlist here on YouTube, which is free, or if you want more information, you can check out the course in the link below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one.